Even after doing this for 15 years, there's always something new around the corner. I've never looked at an instrument using this wood before. Keep watching. Yeah, hello, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. Summary video review to the full written review that you will find linked below in the video description. The link is always down there. There's also some other links down there and that's what these people have done. And my eternal thanks as ever every week to the people who donate to help keep this site going from week to week because it's not a commercial enterprise. I don't charge for reviews. Uh, so their help is so much appreciated. It's the only reason I'm here. So thank you very much to them. If you want to help out, there's some links down there that you can do it in a variety of ways. And every week I say this as well, you can also help me out by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Ring that little bell and you'll get notified of my new videos when they go up. Okay, this brand, I've reviewed this brand lots of times before. They've been around for quite a while now and they came along at a time when uh, the Far Eastern ukuleles at least were really limited to the Kala, the Lanakai, uh, the Ohana, that kind of thing. That brand is called Snail. As I say, been around a while. I've looked at quite a few. They've always done rather well. This one, quite striking. This is the Snail UKC 470 Concert. And I say striking, and that's because of what this wood is. This is an all laminate instrument, so it's just the outer veneer we're talking about. But it's that outer veneer, which is quilted ash. Two pieces on the top, on the sides, and two pieces on the back. All right, rather nicely bookmatched. Um, this is very pretty. Now, I will say looks are very subjective, my take, I think it's too pale. I don't really like all pale instruments, but I know a lot of people do, and there's no getting away from the fact that this wood is interesting to look at. The darker grain patches are sort of kind of an open pore, and then the paler bits are almost like they've been polished smooth, so that's how the grain is working on this. And you can't say that this isn't interesting to look at. It's very, very different to look at. It's very pretty. I mean, some parts of it are really gorgeous, I think, even though I find it a little bit too pale. I'll come on to the rest of the look a little bit later. But there we are. Yeah, quilted ash laminate. I've got no problem with laminates. As I always say, I would take a good quality laminate over a poorly built solid wood that they've used a solid wood top, for example, for the sake of it, so they can put it in the marketing that it's solid, but super thick, dead sounding, that kind of thing. Thin laminates. This is ooh, really thin and pretty nice. The bridge is the usual snail style, like a bat wing. Uh, it's a through body type bridge that is made of ebony. It's all very tidy. I like these bridges. Uh, sitting in that, the saddle isn't specified. Looks to me like bone compensated top to it as well. There is no other decoration here. And I think they'd probably say, well, why would you decorate it when you've got wood that looks like this? I still think it looks a bit bare. Um, now, maybe that's me saying I don't like pale instruments, but I think it needs something. The differences here, of course, are these sound ports. So you've got a side sound port on the lower bout and one on the top shoulder here on the face on the top. But I think it needs something, just a bit of edge binding. And probably also to do with my dislike of the fact that with a laminate instrument, when they're not bound, you're basically looking at the laminate sandwich on the edge. And I think that looks a bit sort of agricultural, very basic looking. It needs something else, I think. But, you know, you may, you're may you either going to love or hate this grain. Mm. Uh, inside, great with side, side ports because dead easy to have a look inside. It's all very tidy, notched linings, no real mess, thin little braces. The neck wood is not specified, but I suspect it's Sapili or Akume or maybe Nato, something like that. Just mahogany looking, but very pale. It's jointed in the heel and the headstock, which are fairly obvious, but not too bad. Tapers down, not huge. It's rounded up here, not hugely so. Slightly squashed on the back, which is good news because that's a really, really generic narrow nut. Uh, I know this is very subjective stuff, but I always say my personal preference is for wider nuts than this. That's 35 mil, 27 G to A. It's too narrow for me, personally. I wouldn't buy an instrument like that. Uh, topped with a fingerboard of ebony, which 
on first glance looks all right um but it's actually there's quite a few little scruffy marks in it can you see them here in the polish a little bit untidy edge bound in a dark brown wood hiding the fret ends the fret ends look a bit rough on the macro pictures i took but there are no sharp edges at all very nicely done 18 of those and 14 to the body so they're all right uh, position dots in pearl face out of 5 7 10 a double 12th one at the 15th paired with white dots on the side too narrow for me a little bit scruffy on on the fingerboard but it's ebony so these are nice appointments ebony with the quilted uh, ash um, laminate beyond that bone nut and that does definitely look like bone to me the usual snail headstock it's a shape I like I like the facing they put on theirs because it doesn't quite go to the edge so it looks like a kind of raised faceplate 3d effect the snail logo as ever I say this every time I review a snail it's inlaid in wood it doesn't say snail it says snoi s-n-o-i-e to me snoi I don't know when they're going to change that I've been saying that about these logos for years <laughs> snoi it really annoys me such a minor point but it makes me laugh the tuners are snail brand sealed gears with little snail logos on them i don't like sealed gears on a ukulele too much weight too chunky look a bit odd at least the buttons are small <coughs> i'd much prefer open gears um these have got a bit of slop in them as well before they start to bite and turn a bit irritating to use the strings i found hard to pin down what they are uh, and I may be wrong on this but I think they used a Dario fluorocarbon um, they're definitely a clear fluorocarbon I think they're the Dario it doesn't say that on the snail website and the snail padded gig bag now famous and again a nod to snail when snail set out they were pretty much one of the only Far Eastern brands that were offering you a gig bag it, they kind of they were the trailblazers it's only recently the Carla have started doing it so fair play to Snell for that. And uh, all in, the price. RRP of £175 in the UK, but looking at the ukulele stores, quite often discounted down to about 160 ish Either way, I don't think it's a huge amount of money. Yes, it's a laminate instrument, but it's what you'd call an exotic wood laminate instrument. And it's got things like ebony for the bridge and the fingerboard, and the fingerboard is bound, so, and the bag. Um, so I don't think it's too bad a price at all. The core build is very good. Uh, I can't really fault that. Don't like the knot width, that's subjective. The finish too, it's an open pour, but it's, I can't find any flaws with it. Bit of scruffiness on the fingerboard, and I would change those tuners, but it's not a lot of negatives at all. Uh, love or hate the looks, of course. Um, it's incredibly light, 460 grams, it's like, it's like there's nothing there at all and despite those chunky tuners balances really nicely too so you know not too bad um tone wise <laughs> laminates you know they don't have the signature tone of wood i couldn't tell you what the signature tone of ash let alone quil quilted ash is but let's have a play and you can work it out for yourself I would say these strings have been going out quite a lot, so bear with me on this. I will retune if I feel that it's died a bit and it's not in an intonation problem because the setup is actually okay here. Now, I know that you're sensing what I'm sensing, but the basics first, volume and sustain. It's neither the loudest instrument or the longest sustaining. In fact, that sustain drops off quite quickly. It feels constrained. People will say, is it down to the sound holes? Possibly, but mo as I always say, most of the tone and volume and projection comes from this bit here, not the sound holes. They're really to let the air in and out, mainly. It's just kind of introspective laid back sound but I don't think that's unattractive not not bright uh, it's all right actually
it is on the brighter side. Um, it needs more sustain. It's a very, yeah, the tune of strings are going out a little bit, sorry. It's a very staccato sound. If it was a soprano, I'd be going, great, that sounds wonderful. Just exactly what I want. And I worry with the lack of sustain how this is going to affect your finger pick. pretty tone to it it's it's very attractive tone definitely needs more sustain for me it's a little bit too staccato for a concert i don't like the nut width but that's me um but it's not bad it's not bad uh those looks are gonna be love or hate i'm divided i just think it needs a bit more decoration but i do like the grain the build is very good, the finish is very good, a bit scruffy here, change the tuners, wider nut, tone, attractive, but a little bit thin because of the lack of sustain, and a little bit quiet, not really quiet, but um, mixed bag on the tone, but not bad at all, and really not a bad price, uh, certainly if you can get it for under the 175 RRP. There we are, I've enjoyed looking at that, thanks to Red Chili uh, Audio in the UK, who are the distributors for brands like Snail and Enya, uh, and one or two others. Um, thanks to Steve there, who loaned me this to have a look at. The Snail UKC 470 Concert Laminate Quilted Ash. Um, quilted Ash Laminate Concert uh, with these twin sound ports, 175 quid. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Um, again, snail that's always the way they come out really a nice alternative to the usual names i've enjoyed that thank you very much for watching uh seemed to rattle through that one i think probably because i'm on the verge of having another coughing fit this cold is still hanging around in this house would you believe you should probably see a doctor um yes i've enjoyed looking at that thanks for your ongoing support and your help and your nice words really appreciated and that support that you can do with the links below that's really appreciated too uh, i hope you have a great week ahead the macro is coming on monday because i've got something that's arrived already for next week and it looks rather special uh, so stay tuned for that one i'll see you soon take care look after yourselves and each other see you bye bye